Welcome to another edition of Highliner News. I'm Carter. And I'm Carter. Three seniors have recently signed to further their career in their individual sports. Reporter Alyssa Thompson brings you the story. I'm playing basketball at Dakota Wesleyan in Mitchell, South Dakota. My sport is volleyball and I have signed to play at Valley City State University. I signed to North Dakota State University for track and cross country. I've been in basketball for about nine years, so like third grade. I've been playing volleyball ever since second grade because my mom was the assistant coach on my sister's high school team, so I was dragged to every single open gym in practice, so there was nothing else to do. I've been in both track and cross country since seventh grade, so six years. Yes, I've always wanted to play basketball in college. Yes, I have always wanted to play because my siblings have been great role models and they've played in college as well. I've kind of always wanted to play sports in college. Uh, in junior high, I remember thinking like, oh, if I keep getting better, like I'm, I might be able to play sports in college. But then I got older and I knew that I didn't want to stop running competitively after high school. I love basketball, like everything about it, but I'd have to choose the offense. I like everything about volleyball, but my favorite thing is probably defense. I love blocking and just getting a good block. I like racing. Racing is my favorite part. I am hopefully majoring in athletic training. I'm deciding between two majors, wildlife biology and digital design with a minor in marketing. I'm majoring in psychology. I'm looking forward to like the level of competition that they have. I'm most looking forward to the competition level and the Valley City has a really great program and I'm excited to become a part of it. I am most looking forward to the competition during racing. Probably my deciding factor was like their community and like their envir environment and how like they're so supportive down at Mitchell. The deciding factor was the family-like aspect that the team brings and how comfortable I am on campus. I had two deciding factors. One was the coach and I think I'll be able to get a lot better under his training and how happy the team was when I met them. Reporting for Highlander News, this is Alyssa Thompson. The national competition for speech and debate was held last summer. Reporter Carter Haas brings you the story. This VCHS student had a unique nationals experience. I competed in dramatic interpretation and duo, which duo is with a partner and dramatic interpretation is a dramatic serious piece by yourself. I was fortunate enough to qualify in dramatic, so I was able to go to the national tournament. So I competed in Mesa and Phoenix, Arizona, and so we did a 26-hour bus ride, which was fun, but very tiring. And then we had like a day of downtime, and then it was competition day. So on competition day, I bussed over to Mesa, Mesa High School, and I got to compete, I believe it was four rounds day one, and then the next day it was two rounds. So I just went to all my rooms, I competed, and my piece had to be memorized, so I just had to like practice, go over that before I went to compete. Uh, hanging out with my coaches and friends was really fun. One of my favorite parts about Nationals was the downtime rather than competing, because I just got to make new memories, new friends, and I got to really know people, which is it's an experience that I never thought I'd ever be able to make as a sophomore. I don't really know how people placed, per se. Personally, in Dramatic, I didn't get top 60, so I was somewhere in the 61 and below. I like to say I got 61st place, but so did everyone else who didn't place top 60, so it's just a funny little thing. And going home, it was just high energy the whole time. We were exhausted, but it was just, it was a laughing. There was no ill feelings towards anything. It was, we're going home, this is great, I can't wait to be home. What did we just accomplish? Reporting for Highliner News, this is Carter House. Although we hope we have a calm winter this year, Superintendent Josh Johnson explains the school storm day plan. Reporter Carter Jewett brings you the story. Our winter weather plan for 23-24 for the school year, um, we, we follow a, a grace day. So the first storm day that we have, so up to seven hours, um, is uh, a day that we don't make up. Then in our school calendar, we have two additional days. Uh, this year, it's at the end of the school year. So um, Thursday, Friday, I believe it is. And, and so if we have a second and third storm day, we're gonna utilize those days. And so rather than being out in the middle of the week, 
um, in May, we would be out at the end of the week. And so those are three days that, that we would utilize right off the bat. And if, again, we have a winter like we had last year, then we also have started implementing virtual learning days. And um, we would consider then circumstances and situations where we can um, start following a, a virtual learning schedule. Beyond that, if we have additional days, then uh, we gotta make a decision whether we're going to, to add time to the school year, we're going to take away other vacation days um, in the spring of the year to make up those days, or um, you know, occasionally, again, we've, we've dealt with so many storm days last year that uh, we added days where we didn't make up. And for Highland News, this is Carter Jewett. We have a new addition to our history department at BCHS. Reporter Ada Gilbertson introduces you to Ms. Brown. So I grew up in Valley City. I lived here un through eighth grade, and then I moved to West Fargo, and that's where I graduated from. I went to NDSU, and I studied anthropology and philosophy, and I have a minor in theater arts. I teach 11th grade U.S. history. I teach dual credit U.S. history to 11th graders, and I teach uh, one class of eighth grade U.S. history and North Dakota studies. History when I was in school has always been my favorite subject and when I studied in anthropology in college we studied a lot of history there too. I have just always been fascinated by the past and I love being able to share that passion and talk about it all day long with students. Miss Brown has many passions and hobbies. I like I do theater so I'm the theater director here at the high school and I love all things like that directing, acting, dancing. Um, I love being outside, going for walks, going for hikes, that sorts of thing. I have a dog and a cat. Um, my dog, his name is Howell, and he's a golden retriever, and I have a cat named Anubis, and so I spend a lot of time with them, too. Reporting for Highlander News, this is Ada Gilbertson. What do you think are the best fries in town? Reporter Addie Coving and Kinley Suffolk serve you their opinion. What are your favorite fries in town? Budget Burger, for sure. Dairy Queen. Budget, Budget Burger. <laughs> Probably Burger King or, like, Budget Burger. Uh, Burger King. Burger King. Budget Burger. Budget Burger. Budget Burger. If you don't think that, you're crazy. Budget Burger. <laughs> Budget Burger because they're really salty and peppery. Ooh. McDonald's French fries. Now, Kinley and I will taste test the favorite fries. I got one. Three, two, one. Okay. Not my guess. Okay. I think it's budget burger. Yeah, budget burger. Okay. Mm what do you rate it? Mm, maybe like a seven. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna go a nine. Oh, okay. I like their fries. Hot take. Okay. <laughs> oh, we do. Okay, I'll go. Reporting for Highlander News, this is Addie Quobang. Finding a hobby at a young age is hard. This Valley City fifth grader found hers in crocheting. Reporter Shelby Mulder brings you the story. Hi. <laughs> I started crocheting in the summer of 2022. I'm self-taught from YouTube, and it was kind of a dark time for me, so I just needed something to like lift my spirits. My favorite part about crocheting is like seeing what I can make and I just think it's really cool. My least favorite part is when I have to undo a round because my stitch count is off. It's just really annoying. I crochet everything except sweaters and like clothing. I'm not very good at clothing. I use Bernat baby blanket yarn and it's really soft and fluffy so that's why I like using it. Mostly every place has yarn and my crochet hooks I already have unless I lose them 
which hopefully I don't. Jalen shares some items she has crocheted. A pumpkin, a bird. <laughs> um, my favorite thing I've crocheted is this elephant, Gerald. <laughs> Reporting for Highliner News, this is Shelby Mulder. With Thanksgiving on Thursday, reporter Shelby Mulder heads to the elementary to ask them some Thanksgiving questions. What are you most thankful for? Football. My dog. Mom. My mom and dad and my family. For everything my mom does. My family. My sister. Uh, my family and my friends. My family. What's your favorite Thanksgiving food? Turkey. 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 Mashed potatoes. Turkey. Turkey. Um, stuffing. How do you cook a turkey? Putting it in the oven. Go get it in an oven. S oven. You put it in the oven. You would put it in, you would unbreast it and then put it in the oven for like at 230 degrees. Put it on a fry pan. Reporting for Highliner News, this is Shelby Mulder. Thank you for joining us for this edition of Highliner News. I'm Carter. And I'm Carter.